y'all? This is Mr. Shepard, aka Brother Williams. And I'm here proving myself to the nation. And I'm also here for the sake of the global community. Let's talk about this topic. Let's talk about the topic of aliens, which has pretty much been a part of American culture, right? Popular culture. It has been in our movies, TV shows, videos, cartoons. You name it, just pretty much everything, right? And it's two sides. Some people believe this is all fiction. This is all just made up. It's all fantasy, but we just embrace this, right, as a part of, um, you know, this entertainment, basically. Um, a lot of us as fans of Star Wars, Star Trek, but it's nothing more than just fiction. Stuff is just made up. Other people believe this is a, a big conspiracy by the government that aliens do actually exist. Now, the question for me is, where does this all come from, right? In terms of the whole idea of extraterrestrials being, you know, around, right, existing, right? Where does this whole thought process in America come from, right? In terms of this being a part of the average American, you know, thought process of there being a possibility of there being aliens. Where does this all come from? That's what I want to know. Well, we go back in history to 1947, right? The first UFO sighting was reported by a businessman named Kenneth Arnold, who claimed he had seen nine uh, flying saucers flying at high speed. Now, this happened in Washington. And then a book, right, that was inspired by this event was written by a guy named Donald Kino, who said flying saucers are real and said that um, the military, the government was pretty much uh, hiding the fact that they were dealing with UFO aircrafts, right, extraterrestrials. Now, it's called up a stir, but he, um, the author, eventually downplayed the claims made in the book, right? Because it caused a, a panic. Now, after this, Area 51 was built in 1955. But this was initially built, or supposedly built, to pretty much create aircraft, right? Now, between um, this time, we still had a lot of claims or sightings, UFO sightings, right? But in that time frame. So we go from that time frame to 1961. The first documented um, alien abduction was uh, reported by a couple, um, Barney Hill and Betty Hill, who claimed they were tracked mysteriously, right, on a high, isolated highway by some kind of light in New Hampshire. And they were captured and experimented on by the aliens. And in between, once again, I go back to 1952, right, 1969, it was about 1,200 reports of either UFO sightings or some kind of encounter with an extra, uh, extraterrestrial, right? So this is pretty much building up to Area 51. Now, in 1980, a guy who supposedly worked for Area 51 claimed that the government, and this is in 1980, claimed that the government, right, was pretty much uh, toying with, experimenting with alien aircraft and trying to reverse engineer this aircraft. So this claims happened in 1980. Now, the many reports coming from nearby towns of seeing weird aircraft either landing or flying from Area 51, right? Now, this is when the conspiracies started to get bigger and bigger that not only aliens do exist among us, but the, the government actually knows, but they're hiding it from the public, right? All these different sightings, these conspiracies, all these different movies pretty much leads to the conclusion that the government is hiding something from the people right this is what this all leads to and what's what makes this even more suspicious right is that um 
the government has never acknowledged Area 51 until 2013 with Obama. We look at a time in 1995 where when Bill Clinton was president, right, they never wanted, you know, he refused to acknowledge that, acknowledge that Area 51 even existed. And so therefore, as a result, they were not even under any kind of um, obligations in terms of uh, disclosing their practices or keeping any kind of environmental standards, right? A lot of the things that were coming out about Area 51 were supposedly from people who worked in these facilities, right? And disclosing what was really going on. That's what was happening, right? Like whistleblowers, basically. But all these claims, including claims from people, everyday people, were pretty much being dismissed by the U.S. government. Right. And fast forward to now, you know, um, recently in August, August 2023, a person um, by the name of David um, Grush, an Air Force veteran, and three other people alleged the U.S. government has a secret alien spacecraft retrieval program. Now, from these testimonies, the USA have uh, finally out to take these these claims serious like with all this being a part of popular culture right and constant episodes and you know we'll see different episodes on you know a and e or the history channel right uh people's testimonies or historical societies you know documenting their interactions with with ETs, right? And then even people who are also in the military themselves, right, who are in these uh, particular positions reporting encounters with either UFOs or extra extraterrestrials, right? The government has, you know, categorically ignored these claims for so long. Why? Why did they ignore these claims for so long? When people, you know, countless like you can't even count the number of people that have been coming out and saying this is what they experienced, right? Now, it's one thing to say you've seen a UFO, right? It's hard to confirm that, but it's been, you know, countless numbers of people that have came out and said they have been abducted by aliens or extra extraterrestrials, right? Yet the government has not took these claims serious until now. Why is that, right? When we see popular culture has embraced the idea of aliens possibly existing, why hasn't the government took this serious until now? It makes one think, right, that maybe there is a chance that the government does know about aliens, right? Does know about UFOs, extraterrestrials, but they have um, pretty much um, intentionally, you know, put together, right? a plan, an effort to keep all the stuff hidden, right? Just like the Man in Black movie. They don't want the public to know about this because the public will just panic, right? It will be pretty much anarchy. It will be chaos, right? One cannot help but think these things, right? Now, I believe there is an agenda going on. I do. I believe there is an agenda going on. And I, I do believe there is and a concerted effort to hide the truth from the people for a particular reason. And I, and, I, and I believe we should all be very aware of that, of what's really going on, right? But uh, I'll talk about these things uh, in the next episodes, because this won't be the last time I talk about this topic. I believe this is very important. So uh, just um, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe for the sake of global community time, but I'll be speaking more in depth on this, right, in the next uh, videos. This is Ms. Shepard, and I'm proving myself to the nation.